Good morning, good morning, Big Square Road to Road.com. What's your morning, Horn of Disease? Your sip of coffee that I don't have coffee today. Um, I will be in a meeting all day with the uh, Christoph and our group that was on that year long adventure into our souls, really. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, um, but I wanted to get this out, make sure everybody is on the right page or a page as far as what's going on with the global monetary system remember how fragile it was um and that'll give you an idea of where we're going our fragile system is so fragile that a couple billion dollar hits to one of these big to fail banks two big to fail banks would take them down would topple other banks would topple everything now let's talk about a gigantic mother of all hits the coronavirus and China's position in there, all these big banks are heavily invested in China. Here's a great article from New uh, Zero Hedge. China's banks face $6 trillion coronavirus cataclysm if epidemic is not contained soon. In a little notice post back in November, we reported that as part of the stress test conducted by China's central bank, in the first half of 2009, 30 medium and large size banks were tested. In the base case scenario, assuming GDP growth dropped to 5.3%, nine out of the 30 banks failed and saw their capital adequacy, adequacy ratio drop to 13.47% from 14.43%. In the worst case scenario, assuming GDP growth dropped to 4.5%, some 2% below the latest official GDP print, more than half of China's banks or 17 out of 30 banks failed the test. Needless to say, the implications for a Chinese financial system whose size is roughly $41 trillion, having over $20 trillion in problematic bank assets would be dire. What you need to think about is this is not contained to just China. JP Morgan, Citibank, HSBC, Deutsche Bank, they're all heavily invested in China with many counterparts, especially on the derivative side, out of China. A lot of people, we were talking at dinner last night about everything, but one of the things we're talking about is, you know, they asked me what my take on the coronavirus is. I don't know. There's so much conflicting evidence. Uh, not evidence, com so many conflicting stories. But I do know that it is the worst possible time for a sound system for this to hit with the sound system still going. The system was not sound. The banks were literally teetering. They were teetering. They were getting gigantic bailouts every night, and I'll get to that in a second, as the repo crisis is beginning to pop its ugly head again. The system was not sound. It didn't take much to push it over. I believe it's already been pushed over, and it cannot recover no matter what happens. Um, obviously, there's bigger issues related to the coronavirus as far as the, the viability of the human species on planet Earth, stuff like that. Yes, it can get that bad. I don't know that it will, but it can. But it doesn't take much to topple these banks. And they're probably really happy about it because they get a get-out-of-jail-free card. I said many times this is going to end in force majeure on the exchanges. These exchanges are so rehypothecated. So many more shares than they than than the people who own them. Exactly the other way around. So many more people claim they own shares that are owned multiple times by other people. Shares and pledges to precious metals, pledges to treasury bills, pledges to stocks and bonds, everything. It's all rehypothecated. We live in a fractional reserve system, and you can tell by the volume. So yes, the coronavirus is a big deal, no matter what happens now. And the Zero Hedge is just pointing to the fact that, hey, China was hugely systemic, $41 trillion out in loans. They're all in trouble. We are all in trouble. And that is clearly seen by what is going on in the repo market. Third consecutive oversubscribed term repo indicates strong shortage, liquidity shortage, not easing. All the stories you heard on, in early mid-September, remember I said September 11th of 2019, haven't been fixed. They've been papered over. And a lot of these paper cover-ups 
of bailouts need to be rolled over again and again and again and again. If you look at today's repo, now this was replacing a $29 billion repo. The maximum the Fed said they were going to take is 30. So they took 30, but 53 banks put in for 53.6 billion repos and only 30 were taken, meaning there's more people out there struggling. And that means overnight losses for these people who didn't get their, their, uh, their bid filled. <clears throat> Let me show you this. Now, this is on Patreon and the private road for Rotor to members. This is where we are as far as the bank bailouts. Tonight, just tonight, banks need $783 billion. And that includes the term repo, the POMOs, the permanent operations, the um, overnight repos, and this little thing they're using to hide what's really going on, the FICC guarantees. FICC is the largest participant now all of a sudden in the past few months in the repo market. What is the FICC? It, they don't even own assets. It's a clearinghouse owned by the DTCC. And I have a website that I can drill down and, and it's the same banks that we've been talking about all along. JP Morgan, Citibank, Deutsche Bank. They're getting guarantees because they don't trust each other. And that's the only reason they're going in there. Otherwise, the Fed would have to add another $278 billion to what they're doing right now. It's kind of a stealth bailout. But who would accept an FICC guarantee when the FICC doesn't have any money? They're a clearinghouse. They don't publish any, you know, where's their balance sheet? What's their credit rating? How can they go into the repo market? They aren't. It's JP Morgan, Citibank going through the FICC to cover up what they're really doing. So right now we're at $783 billion the banks need tonight to, to stay in business tomorrow. And it's going to get worse because the FICC guarantees the banks are relying on those now because it covers up their balance sheet, supposedly, so they think. But what good is a guarantee if the underlying guarantor the FICC really doesn't have any assets to speak of. I, at least they could say they're, they're a custodian of assets, but those aren't their assets. How much of a hit can the FICC take if the rehypothecation, rehypothecation starts to blow sideways? None. I don't think they can take any hit. Same with the DTCC. It's just a way to hide the crime. I've talked about the DTCC on the Road to Ruta many, many, many times. Go check it out. Go to Road to Ruta, do the search function, look for DTCC, how dark is the crime. And you'll get to Seed and Company, which is the ultimate owner. And there is someone, supposedly according to congressional investigation back in the 70s, someone who owns Seed and Company, which owns all assets, mortgage-backed securities, treasuries, everything. Is put in, they call it the street name. It's in the street name. See, it's a con. It's basically a con. So that's where we are. In the meantime, right now, the banks last night needed thirty-eight point eight million in the overnight repo. They needed thirty, sorry, billion. They needed thirty billion in a term repo. Why? Because they had a twenty-nine billion dollar term repo expire that was just put on two weeks ago. So this one, 29 comes off, 30 goes on. You look at the date, this one is going out to February 25th. And they're going to have to do the same thing again and again and again and again. It'll get bigger and bigger. Very interesting thing coming up on the 15th. The, I think it's the 15th, yeah. I believe it's the 15th that the Fed is going to rejigger how much they're going to lend. And I'll guarantee you they're going to use the coronavirus to say, oh, we, we need to ex explore expanding the, uh, the term repos to, say, 40 or 50 billion instead of the 30 billion. Timing, 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 bang. This is all too convenient for the banksters trying to bail themselves out. So yes, I do believe they're involved in some way in the coronavirus outbreak. I don't know... Who, what, where, why. There's so many theories, it's crazy out there right now. 
probably in the next couple of months we'll be able to look back and say, oh, this is where it really started. These who are the people in charge. And oh, by the way, all the exchanges around the world that were in deep trouble because they were creating assets out of thin air have all claimed force majeure. How do you get around this? You get your assets in your own hands. Those are the only assets that will survive. No third parties, especially on the cryptos. Don't trust anybody. You can't tell me what your, your private key is right now. You don't own your crypto. No, Coinbase will not survive this crash. Kraken will not survive this crash. They can't. Their banks will go down. Remember, they pay bills in, in fiat money. They pay their employees in fiat money. You know, most likely, we're going to see a lot of them say, oh, my God, we got hacked, too, just like Mt. Gox. They didn't get hacked. The guy ran, and ran away with the coins because he didn't have enough coins to settle up. Everybody's going to try to get their money out of Coinbase at the same time, out of Kraken, out of all of them. Gemini, when the banking system crashes, and, and you can see, clearly you can see how that easily that could happen now. China is looking at a $6 trillion cataclysm. Who are the counterparties to the Chinese banks? <laughs> all the Western banks. Anyway, there's your uh, happy note for the day. I'm still in Acapulco learning and, and gaining new information on how to live freely. And I will be, uh, I don't know how often I can get back to you guys. I will try. Crazy busy right now. Um, but I will keep you informed. This is BigSquareRoadToRooter.com. You want to learn more about this stuff, go to Road to Rooter, do a search. And <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe to the private road. You're going to be sent one silver Ruta coin. People are saying, how much are those Ruta coins going to be worth when the system falls apart and you were proven right? I don't know. I don't know, but they're really cool. Right there. I almost got, I do have some down here. Um, I'll be giving you away at some point when I'm singing. I don't sell them, but I'll give them away. Um, or I give them away with private road subscription. So I don't know what they'll be worth. <laughs> it's just this collector's value. If the road to root of theory was correct after all these years. It'd be really cool, I think. And, you, and I'm giving away a very token. Who knows how that lottery ticket's going to do, but I, I feel real good about it. My gut says, hang on, just hang on for dear life. Hoddle, this is Big Square. I'll talk to you guys later. Litecoin, baby, Litecoin! That's the right coin. Absolutely 100%. So, yes, I, I brought the band tonight. They're going to come up in a little bit. I got a couple songs I want to play for you. Again, I've been pumping the Anarcho Poco Conference for a reason. I think it's fun. I think it's transformative. It's crazy. It's weird. Absolutely. It's not safe. It's, it's so far from safe. I don't know why, but we've always had a good time. Uh, but I wrote a song about freedom fighters and what the links they will go to. I was in Mexico talking to these guys at the Narcopalco conference, and I go, I was bitching and moaning, and it took me like 12 hours to get down there because I went through Mexico City. They said it took us four days. I'm like, what do you mean it took four days to get here? And they said, well, we took a train. I'm like, you can't take a train. They were from Chicago. You can't take a train from Chicago to Acapulco, Mexico. And they said, oh, yeah, you can. I'm like, no, you cannot. They do it hobo style. They hopped trains to get to an Arcapoco. So I wrote a song about them. It's called An Arcapoco, Here We Come. It's got train sounds. Uh, so we'll see if this works. Everybody's singing Nakapoko, here we come. Nakapoko, here we come. 
Acapulco, here we come, an Acapulco, here we come. Gonna rise against the man, gonna tear down what we can. It's the way, our life should be, it's the way. We should be free in Acapulco, here we come, in Acapulco, here we come. You wanna change the world, hop on the train and run. Everybody singing Acapulco, here we come. Longer if you're free, cause the rules are thrown away. Day is night and night is day, and the only thing they ask is give everyone a pass. Be the way you'll be when your life is truly free. Going crazy all day, all night until you're done. Everybody singing, knock a book, oh, here we come. Knock a book, oh, here we come, and knock a book, oh, here we come. Gonna rise against the man, gonna tear down what we can. It's the way our life should be, it's the way it should be free. And knock a book, oh, here we come, and knock a book. Here we come. You wanna change the world? Hop on the train and run. Everybody singing on the poco. Here we come.